بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the most gracious and the most merciful the prophet Muhammad said every muslim has to give in charity the people then ask but what if someone has nothing to give what should he do the prophet replied he should work with his hands and benefit himself and also give in charity from what he earns the people further asked if he cannot find even that he replied he should help the needy who appeal for help then the people asked if he cannot do even that the prophet said finally then he should perform good deeds and keep away from evil deeds and that will be regarded as charity good habits for new muslims to develop after a person has accepted islam as their religion they will come to realize that islam is more than just a religion it is way of life worship is not reserved for special days or special ceremonies it is a part of our living and our dying our working and our play our rest and our study in short islam is something that we live with all our actions thoughts and deeds developing good habits to assist us in our everyday lives as a worshiper of the one god is easy below you will find a few guidelines to get you started they are habits that should inshallah become as familiar as breathing first dedicate some part of every day to reading a translation of the quran number two pay strict attention to learning how to pray Try to improve your prayers until you are satisfied that you are praying in the correct manner. Sometimes this takes longer than you might expect, so do not be discouraged. Number three, try to learn some words of remembrance. This can be said at any time of the day or night. If you feel you do not know enough of the prayer ritual, but want to spend longer connected to Allah, then can even be refitted at the end of your prayer. Learn to say, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, and Allahu Akbar. Therefore, remember me by praying, glorifying. I will remember you and be grateful to me for my countless favors on you and never be ungrateful to me. Quran chapter 2 verse 152 Give some form of charity every day remember that in Islam giving charity can be as simple as smiling and brightening a person's day Every act of kindness is charity Avoid wasting your free time that will discover that there is 1,001 things to do that are beneficial. Time wasted on video games, idly surfing, the internet can be better spent. Once you understand that every single thing that can be a way of worshiping Allah, then playing video games for hours on end does not seem to be a very, very wise way to spend time. Having said this, however, we now come to the next point. Avoid going to extremes. It may be tempting to fast every day or read all of the Quran in one sitting. But Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wasallam warned us against going to extremes. 
therefore in a 24 hour day there is time to play and time to learn religion is very easy and whoever burdens himself in his religion will not be able to continue in that way so you should not be extremist Islam is a holistic religion it requires us to pay attention to our spiritual physical and mental health therefore acquire habits that keep you healthy and add to your Islamic character getting enough sleep at night allows you to rise early to pray eating the right foods in the right quantities keeps you energetic rather than lazy this allows you to worship without hardship try to make friends in the Muslim community staying in the company of people who worship Allah in the correct manner is a source of fun and benefit the best friends are those who talk about Islam more than the latest passions good friends remind each other of their Islamic obligations such as praying on time or the importance of helping others try to read about the life and times of Prophet Muhammad there are many good books in all languages that teach about the noble life of Allah's final messenger as Muslims we should love the Prophet but how do we love someone we do not know indeed in the messenger of, of Allah you have a good example to follow for him who hopes in the meeting with Allah on the last day and remembers Allah much Quran chapter 33 verse 21 acquire virtues manners and morals learn about and try to emulate the morals and manners of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him those who live around him and all of our righteous predecessors including all the prophets of Allah Allah expect us to behave in the best manner if we fail sometimes then we should seek forgiveness and try to do better our religion is easy it is one small step at a time it slowly but surely acquire the habits that will make life in this world better and a better life in the hereafter secure amen welcome back my brothers sisters and to all my kababayans all around the world peace be to all how are you keep safe wherever you are and don't forget to subscribe this simple life youtube channel salim alagad mo just relax and watch this video on how a desert land soil is labeled and confected these are the species of land land soil sand small stones stony sand or gravels Th these are the elements that mix together in order 
to have a strong foundation. or a construction of a building. In this area, a white desert. A white desert which is filled the elements of sun swell mixed with the gravels and sand. And it is filled in the desert and after this is labeled through uh, using the loader it is labeled from time to time and then showering and sprinkling with waters Feeling the area to make strong, and finally it is compacted using the compactor, and this is how how the uh, land become uh, strong and firm. Or, or a, a building to be constructed. Shout out everyone and thanks a lot for watching. Peace be to all.